Hi. It's a new day. Um, and if you see what I'm wearing right now, you might be able to tell that my last video, it's the same day. I'm a little bit frazzled right now. I'm having a drink. Don't drink, kids. Okay. <laughs> um, today was a really hot day. Spent most of my day crying and in tears about the Juke Juke Amanda Dupont Everybody Everybody situation, gender-based violence. And I spent most of my day just fighting with people on my WhatsApp who just don't get it. Uh, also responding to messages from friends and a lot of you guys. Um, and I spent my morning recording a video for to share my story about gender-based violence, my gender-based violence story. So it's been a really difficult day. Today's Friday and I am heading over to my partner's place for the weekend. And typically I would go like this. I would literally just go there looking like this, not a problem. But because my eyes are giving me away and also just because I feel like I'm looking at a mirror. Sorry, when I look this way, I'm looking at a mirror. Also just because I feel like I, when I do my makeup, it's, it's so therapeutic and brings really just a sense of peace to me and it helps me feel good. And I do want to feel good. I want to go there looking good, obviously, but also feeling good. Um, even though I know that today is going to be really hard for me because I need to have very difficult conversations with him uh, because of the video that I will be releasing next week. By the time that you guys see this clip of the vlog, I will have already released that video. So I just want to go there feeling just much better than I have been all day. So because of that, I've got my little makeup bag and I'm just gonna touch up, nothing serious. Just gonna touch up, just gonna do stuff, you know, while we have a chat. Um, I think what stressed me out a lot about this Amanda situation tragedy, trauma, horror, is that the responses that came from it. I think what hurt me is the women who didn't believe her. The women who were saying, why now? Why now, Amanda? Why are you speaking about this now? Really? Get the fuck out of here. Uh, Maybe not everybody understands how trauma works. And with the men, I feel like, well, as it stands, we already live in a patriarchal society. So what's new? And nobody is willing to, no man is going to give away their patriarchy. You know, they're not going to give it away. They're not going to sit here and say, let's support the women and give away their patriarchy. Why would they? And I'm being sarcastic. And um, what hurts me the most is how the narrative on social media was, well, and not only on social media, also was some things that people said on my WhatsApp, men, based on my WhatsApp statuses that, well, let's uh, give Jup Jup the chance to tell his side of the story. Let me explain something. When a woman expresses abuse and trauma that she's endured at the hands of a man, I don't need to hear what the abuser has to say. When there is proof that she was beaten 
via pictures. I'm not only talking about Amanda Dupont. I'm talking about Kelly Kumar. I'm talking about all the other women, right? Bonang, all the other women who have spoken up on this. When they express themselves, I do not need to hear what the abuser has to say in order to explain or justify his ways. I don't care what he has to say because at that moment, I'm supporting the girl. That's it. I'm supporting the, the girl or the guy. I am supporting the abused. This is the problem when we want to find out how, what happened, wara wara, let's give the abuser an opportunity to speak. And I don't have time for that. I don't have time to hear all of that. So I think for me, that's what upset me the most today. Just reading the tweets and, 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 and you know, reading the tweets, reading all of those things and the WhatsApps and all of that. And I thought, you know, it's, it's terribly sad. Not only do we have to fight the injustices that women have to experience at the hands of a patriarchal society in workplaces and jobs and all of that and, and, and just culturally and whatever. Not only do we have to fight all of those injustices, but we have to fight in terms of proving ourselves. And it's funny how my phone hasn't been ringing for an hour and now it decides to ring. What's going on? Oh, hi. Dude. Yeah. So my makeup, I did, I made a mistake. What did, <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> so I tried to, I tried this other. I'm actually vlogging, so say hi to the vlog. Oh, hey people, hey JK fam. I mean, I'm naked or whatever. Let me, let me switch it off, hang on. I think it looks, so pretty. I think it looks so summery and pretty. And it's like, it's like whatever, really. Ooh, I look so good, girl. And actually, this strapless bra feels so comfortable on me. Really? Yeah. But maybe because we have a support in this area yeah. here. Yeah. I feel like because there is a bit of support, that's, that's nice. But... Let me see. Ooh, I I know that top. I know that top. Where do I know that top from? Oh no, I don't know that one. The one that I do know is the one, the green one that you got. You remember that one? Yes, yes. yes. Okay, that is so cute. Love it. Right. Turn around. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, can you, can your hands even reach your back? Do you know how problematic it is for me? <laughs> Let me see. Nice. Oh, I don't need it. 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 I do So I'm so sorry. Um, my friend called and when she called, I was just, I was happy that she called and I wanted to chat and I wanted to laugh and I wanted to do what friends do. My eyes are actually quite red. I hate that. But um, yeah, I'm dressed now. Let me show you what I'm wearing. So I am just wearing a simple summer dress, which is kind of cute. It's got a little bit of a slit on the side. The dress is from Refinery. Refinery has some of the best 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 dresses that i own um especially for the summertime and whatever it's got a little uh cute slit here somewhere there it is um and the shoes are from castello castello shoes really really cute uh happy it's a look it's i'm a gonna go and prepare myself for a really difficult evening but also a fun one because i'm gonna be where I want to be and yeah so there won't be much else to say I will vlog what I can over the weekend uh, but I am going to leave my camera so I'll use my phone for that and um, I'll touch base with you guys in the next footage that you see uh, just be kind to women 
you know, in the next couple of days, just be really kind to South African women. I would really appreciate that. Um, and to everybody who sent out a message to me on Instagram, um, just, you know, messages of love and light and peace and happiness and all of that. Thank you so much. I, they do not go unnoticed. I liked each and every single one of them. There were a lot, but I liked each and every single one of them. And I really do, um, thank you and appreciate you for all the love and the warm messages. Aside from that, I'm going to go. Uh, it's getting really hot in here. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay? The next footage that you see now. Okay? just got back from the shops I just I dropped off the family in the morning went to the mall to go pick up my weekly produce just fill this up again with some water uh, picked up a Starbucks uh, popped into Westpac and then came home now bunch to do in this video um, I'm not gonna show you what I normally um, pick up every week I feel like you guys at this point practically live with me so you know that weekly I'm gonna pick up spinach I'm gonna pick up juice I'm gonna pick up so the only different thing is that this time around I picked up fish because um, I hadn't had salmon in 
aside from Saturday when I went out with the man's, I haven't had salmon in maybe two months or three months. And salmon is my favorite fish in particular. So it's also really expensive. It's one of the reasons why I don't get salmon quite often because for just a four portion pack of salmon, you're, you're gonna pay like 240 or 250 bucks. So it's actually quite pricey because for that amount of money, I can get a couple of, you know, bry packs, chicken, vors, whatever. So for me, um, salmon is quite pricey, but I picked it up today. Um, and some prawns as well. So I am going to be cooking today, but the biggest thing that I went to get was the salmon and this this is black rice can you see it can you see it yeah i actually like uh black rice now the thing is when i was at this this one is the long grain one when i was at uh doppio over the weekend i had a salmon dish with black rice and I was reminded how much I really enjoy black rice because they also really add it to uh, poke bowls or that kind of thing. So I was reminded how much I really, really enjoy black rice. Now this is the long grain one. There's different types. This one is very similar to the wild rice that you would pick up by Tastic and all of that. Um, so I don't know. I really wanted the one similar to the one that they use at the restaurants there it's not the same shape wise also it's not the same but it's fine i'm gonna try this one out today i'm gonna cook that with some salmon today uh because i really feel like having that for supper and of course i'm gonna vlog all of that and um so it's not really a grocery haul but i went out picking up some fish and i also picked up some prawn meat as well uh because maybe later on this week i might make a prawn and egg salad i'm a big fan i'm a big fan of prawn and egg so we might do that later on this week for supper we'll see how it goes but for now i'm gonna unpack the stuff there's nothing new here so i there's no need for me you're just gonna see me doing the up and down up and down and then i'll talk to you guys again in a bit uh also for the salmon today if i opt not to go with the rice i will also uh make these uh julians this julienne stir, stir fry stir fry we'll also make that so there's options you know what i mean Do you know what i mean there's options also forgot to show you guys what I also picked up was steak. I haven't had cooked uh, like a good sirloin or T-bone steak here at home in a while. I have them. I eat them while I'm when I'm out. Um, the last time I had a good sirloin was at the Blockman in Parkhurst. But I picked this one up for about 120. This is a two-piece. So got this from Woolies. Can't close my fridge. I know it's driving some of y'all crazy. Can't close it. I've got drawers open and everything. But I wanted to show you that Woolies has great prices on steaks. Maybe if you want to have like a little date night or you want to cook for your boo or something and you know just one one will do. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a good one, that one. And then of course my salmon. Love it. Love it. So, 
while we wait for those these glass containers to dry the reason why i was taking out the older ones is because the seeds and all of that that had been in there had been in there for a good two three months and um most i had used but there was no way in hell i was going to use all of it and when people uh, are visiting and all of that i make sure that um you know they they have access to different types of seeds or uh nuts or whatever if they want to add to their yogurt or muesli or food or whatever so i often just make sure that people are well catered for when they come here and sleep over and eat and all of those things i do not throw them away i do have grass outside so what i do is i sprinkle them all over my grass and then the birds it just literally excuse me fills up with birds i'll show them sprinkle them on my cross and then I went into Westpac today I was looking for a glass jug that is something of this kind of nature so a cork top as just glass right um, I didn't necessarily want to use the these as a type of uh, water jug or whatever I wanted a proper jug with handles uh, this was really just picked this up for me as a decorative feature but I've got a plan for these especially for Christmas decorations fairy lights hey fairy lights on the inside there hey but we'll talk about that later on in this vlog in this vlog um, so I went in for a glass jug lo and behold at Westpac I found one so I'm really really happy because uh, I, I want to have cold water uh, with water Hanya got me into saying water guys don't even blame me um, so uh, I want to have um, lemon water just on the go so I'm gonna cut up a bunch of lemon or fruit or cucumber or whatever and then just have this in the fridge because uh, it's hot gents like in this in this in this as it stands in this there's lemon water in here it's hot gents it's hot so i picked this up i got this for i think 150 bucks which is great it's a great size considering that it's just me in the house most of the time it's a great size so i got that and then I went in there for cluster lights, silver, silver wire cluster lights. Uh, I might have to go back for another maybe two or something because it's about 80 Rand for a set. I'll explain why, but I'll probably go back for those later on in the week. My most exciting purchase is this one. So you can see that this is one container, one big container, and then on the inside, there are four compartments of um, smaller containers and i thought this was a brilliant idea for the fridge for fruits so things like strawberries grapes uh blueberries something else at the end there you can have them all in one space then you don't have to worry about having glass containers all stacked up. I, I I hate the fact that it's plastic, but you know what, we're gonna roll with it. Okay, we're gonna roll with it. And you just slot it in on one end of your fridge and you don't have to worry about it. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Gonna... <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna wash this, take out my fruits, add them in here, and we're gonna try it out and see how it goes, you know? Um, it's good, especially seeing them like that and just take, Look at that! How cute is this, though? 
Oh, ah, uh, uh, respect, ah, uh, respect is your plug. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, 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 nah. Jeez. So you saw the pantry organization bit. If you wanted to see all of that in more detail, I will attach my Instagram account as I always do. It's attached in the description box below and it's always, I always show it somewhere in the video. Okay. Um, so definitely check it out because I did a reel of how I store all of my foodstuffs and I do this a lot and I change it out in the December I change out the foods to put in fresh seeds and fresh nuts and fresh all of that because in December you find yourself entertaining a lot more so there's people who come through and for me it's always easy to just take out those containers set them all out on the table like this this table right here set them all out so that people can serve themselves and pick and choose what kind of nuts they want what kind of seeds they want it makes things so much easier as opposed to and it's also just neater you know it's also just really much much neater as opposed to having so many plastic bags and you know plastic containers and all of that uh sitting in your pantry it just looks so much better um, and if you want to see how exactly it looks and how exactly I prepare it, I have a pantry organization video on the channel, but I also did a reel just recently, which is on my Instagram. Now, when it comes to Christmas, I am going to slightly decorate, slightly decorate my space this year for Christmas. And I'm going to do that now. The thing about that is I, I'm not going to do a Christmas tree. Take a moment, think about it. I'm not going to do the Christmas tree this year. The reason why I say that is because I have a lot of greenery in my house. I have a lot of plants. You guys know this. I've got a lot of plants. And adding a Christmas tree as well uh, to a space that's already just so green and colorful. There's a lot of color in this house right now, especially with flowers and all of that. And I feel like adding a Christmas tree, for me, I think... I really do feel that Christmas is a little bit overrated for me personally. I feel like the people who enjoy Christmas a lot are people who have really fond memories of Christmas growing up. So for me, I don't have that. We did have Christmas. We've always celebrated Christmas and all of that, but it's never had this really nostalgic, soft memory for me. It's always just like, oh, okay, we have Christmas. We get presents. We do this. We do this, but not really as nostalgic. And I've just chosen not to do a Christmas tree this year. Uh, reason being is earlier on in the year, I did think that I was going to buy a big Christmas tree, a big, much bigger one. Uh, and then... As time went on, I thought, nah, I just don't feel like it. And for me, just uh, Christmas is a time where people really also just overspend on decorations and all of that. And I can't, for the life of me, see why I should get rid of my previous Christmas decorations or just have a bunch and a lot of Christmas decorations which some I'll probably never use anymore and all of that just every single Christmas. For me, it just, it just doesn't make any sense and more than anything, it didn't make financial sense for me. So, this is my Christmas condensed in a box. Everything that's in here, I got from uh, the uh, Mr. Price Home campaign that I did with them two years ago. That's when I got this box and I managed to fit in everything that's Christmas related in this box and for me this is sufficient yes maybe over the the next years if i move house if i do this sure it makes sense uh maybe i might change out the baubles here and there sure but in here are all the christmas lights in here are all the baubles in here are all the all the things all the things okay and i'm okay with my christmas light life being condensed in this box right now 
um, if I with the with the fairy lights and whatever, if I really want to light up a tree or something, whatever, I can easily light up one of my plants and just make it a little bit more festive, have lights on in the house. And I've got baubles that I always um, uh, uh, lay across my books and all of that. So I'm gonna keep it the same. Hence why I didn't wanna do a completely new decorate with me, a standalone decorate with me video. Um, it's, I, I'm just not feeling it this year. Honestly, I'm not feeling it. So I'm gonna take out whatever is in here. I'm gonna figure out how to make my space a little bit more festive. And let me just move this just slightly. I'm gonna figure out how to make my space a little bit more festive and that's it. We're not gonna overdo it. We're not gonna, nah, we, we're just not, okay? We're just not. very Christmassy which I will just place all over the house then I've got little baubles which obviously because now there's not going to be a tree I'll probably put them somewhere I don't know I don't know how I'm gonna do this okay there's lots of books lots lots of them um, sister take it easy so we'll figure out how to do it. We've got another reindeer here as well, which is just a lot. And we've got like almost what looks like a snow globe. It's not a snow globe per se, but it's cute. It's cute. So we're going to have that as well. So it, we'll see, you know, we'll see. It really, it really isn't the end of the, oh, it really isn't the end of the world how we do this. Okay. It's fine. We're going to figure it out. All right. You might hear my phone in the background. I'm ignoring it. Um, it's it's a call center, gents. Okay. I don't know if you remember these. These are storage containers that I used to use before I got the, the wooden ones. And I've done good by keeping these because these are going to form part of my Christmas decorations this year. All I need to do is just remove the lids. And then it becomes the glass containers that I need. And then what I'm going to do is probably put a mixture of baubles in there and whatever, and then have elements of that in and around the house. By the stairs, I know I'm going to keep maybe one of these, these two by the stairs, and we'll see how it goes. Um, I also took out these. These are mason jars that I had uh, bought around the time of the picnic all those years ago. I've got quite a few of these and I was thinking I would probably put in some votive candles in there. Do they call them votive candles? The tiny ones that sit at the very bottom and I could burn those whenever I want to burn them or whatever and have them lining up the staircase, see how that works out or maybe even put more, bo who knows, who knows. We're just, I'm just going to play around a little bit and then we'll see how it goes. This is what we're dealing with here. These four are going to go up on the staircase and we'll see how I'm going to work around that. And then these are also going to go on the stairs. I'll see how I'm going to work around that. But let's see. Let's play around. Let's see. Um, these ones. I'm not quite sure. Hmm.
outside And the night is cold Everyone's lighting candles in their homes Yes, it's Christmas It's a magic time You can feel it in the air That every child got their hearts filled up with joy Yes, it's Christmas all around All snow is falling down All the colored lights lighting up this town And as I walk outside Christmas choir sing Merry Christmas to you This time of year Is a time to cheer Let 